I'm Madi with Madi Sews and welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you all a little bit about a little, a little outfit that I made. Um, so if you're in any of my sewing groups, you know that I really love some Mimi G patterns. And when she released this one, which is Simplicity 9114, I knew that I was going to make it. And quite honestly, I feel like I'm running out of time. I would really like to make the top dress that she has open up, opened, but I did make the pants and that little top. So let me put some pictures in here so that you can take a real quick look at that. Wow, I guess let's just get into it with the top, which is actually view B. And it's just really a real simple spaghetti strap cropped tank that's made out of a woven. For both the top and the bottom, I used a chambray linen and I think it was called Carolina. If they still have it, I'll pop a link below for you guys to check it out. When I order from Fabric Mart, I typically just wait until they have a really good sale and then I'll go in and snatch up a bunch of stuff. And I've had my eye on the chambray linen for a while and I'm happy that I got it because it has been so hot and muggy. It's just been real swampy outside lately. And so this fabric has been really, it's just been really nice to wear. So the top, you guys don't kill me, all right? I know I should have ironed this before I brought it up in here. But this is the top that I made. I cut the size 16 and I did a two inch full bust adjustment on this one to make it fit over the ladies. Um, and you can see that on the inside here, it has facings. And so they ask you to interface that and that's how you get a really nice clean finish. I put my tag on the inside facing. I will say with this top, the straps really kind of drive me bonkers. I mean, not only do I have to pull out my strapless bra, you know, with the little silicone stuff, it's like got them all like sucked in and pushed up and it's hot, it's hot. It's not the most ideal thing to put on when it's already 100 degrees outside, but the freaking straps kind of move around on me. I think if I do make this one again, I would play around with the strap placements on it and possibly even make them wider. But really, what this has got me thinking is that I wanna make one of those Ogden camis. Um, I'll put a little picture here for you. So I noticed that they actually widened the range on the Ogden cami and they made it so that there's thicker straps now. So I'm actually thinking that it's time to give that one a try. In the meantime, this one's fine. I love the way it looks with my little outfit. Um, it's easy, it's breezy, it's easy to layer. Yeah, it's, I'm happy with it. Now let's talk about the pants. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't hold up my pants and show them to you right now because, well, I'm wearing them. So, <laughs> sorry about that, the super cozy, I like them. <laughs> what I like about Mimi's patterns is that she's removed a lot of the extra ease that other simplicity patterns tend to have. And I feel like her pants typically fit my booty pretty well, as long as I'm making adjustments for the waist. This pattern really doesn't have the most inclusive sizing. So if I'm looking at the measurements on the back of the envelope right here, you can see that the largest size that they carry is a 24. Now you all, pattern sizes are different from ready to wear sizes. I once had someone say, oh no, I'm not a 10, I'm a two. Girl, come on, we're, we're not numbers around here. <laughs> and pattern sizes are traditionally much larger than you're ready to wear. Anywho, let's get into it. So for the size 24, the waist that they have, that they recommend for the size is 39 and the hips are 48. My hips are 49. So already it's a bit larger than what they're recommending. 
but my waist is a 35, which would actually fall in between the size 20 and 22 for them. So what I did was I went, ahead, I went ahead and I just rolled on with a size 24 because these things have so much ease in them still that I, I know that I can get away with cheating that measurement a bit. And so I cut the size 24, but I cut the 20 waistband for the 34 inch waist. Okay, so essentially what you end up having is you have a waistband that's this big and you have hips and pants that start here, right? So there's this obvious disconnect. What I like to do and what I feel actually works best for me in maintaining those, those nice curves around the hips is I deepen those back darts. I love it when there's two darts or four darts, I should say, on the back, but this one only has two. What I did was I increased that size of the darts and the pleats on the front side. I increased those just a little bit so that way it would bring in those side, the sides of my hips so that it met up with my waist. If you guys are interested in seeing how I deepen the darts and the pleats, just let me know in the description box below and I'll make a quick video to show you. It's super simple. It's my preferred method. You don't get those like weird corners in the side if you're trying to grade out with rulers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it, it this way so much easier. <laughs> the instructions for this I felt were pretty straightforward after you got past the fly, which you actually tackle pretty early on in the process. Um, so I had absolutely no complaints about that. The one thing that I noticed about these pants that I may or may not change, it doesn't bother me too much, but I don't like how the pockets actually gape a little bit at my hips. And I feel like Cashmere has a really nice technique for getting those pant pockets to lay flat. So I think next time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to steal some of Cashmere um, pocket pattern pieces and try to integrate it into this pant leg and I think I think it'll actually be really cute not only that but I feel like these pockets are a little too shallow for my liking I like big deep pockets to hold my big old phone keys baby juice boxes I mean like kid kid has stuff he needs me to carry too because he has even smaller pockets so those are the two pieces that I've made. I really still do want to make this um, dress, which is view A. The only problem I have with it is that it's August, summer's about to be over. In theory, it's still going to be super hot like through September, but it's also long sleeves. So know if I want to wear the bright yellow fabric that I bought that looks just like that to make this to make this pattern it is so cute though isn't it I think I'm just gonna have to let it go I think I might have to let this go and maybe make it in a more appropriate fabric for fall hmm? I think so I think so <laughs> oh my gosh I almost forgot to tell you. Now, there's a couple of things that I would actually do. One of them I know I'm not going to. So, <laughs> so let me start with the one that I will. Um, what I need to do the next time I'm at my sewing machine is I need to go in and remove some of the space out of my butt so that my booty has a little bit more, more expansion space. Let's just call it that. Um, and I'll show you a picture here, but you can see how this thing really clings to my butt cheeks. <laughs> That's going to be a super easy fix. All that I have to do is go back in there, sew another line. I like to double stitch around the butt curve so there, there's no splitting of pants happening. <laughs> and then I'll serge it up. It'll be, it'll be super simple, super quick, super fast, and ready to go. So the other thing that I know that I should do, but I'm not going to, is 
I know that I should be doing a full seat adjustment. They actually don't seem very hard, but if, if I'm being honest with you, it, I'm not gonna do it. Maybe, maybe I'll surprise myself and actually, maybe I'll just surprise myself and actually do it one day, but I probably won't. So if you're still hanging with me, thanks for hanging. All right, so thanks for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I try to post videos once, twice a week. And when you subscribe, it'll actually let you know when they're posted, so there's no guessing around. Well, thank you for joining me. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.